me show you my bucket. Can I show you my bucket? Yeah, yeah it's my bucket. So my whole deal is, my boss said, when you fill this bucket up with sand, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a $200 bonus, which back now, $200 is a boatload of money. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this bucket up with sand. And at least I'll have 200 bucks to get by until I find me some gold. Hmm. The hell? <laughs> this is sort of like building the downline. <laughs> Seems like they fall out as fast as I put them in. There's a couple of them still in there, but. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Check this out. There's a hole in the bottom of my bucket. That sucks. <laughs> oh wait, I think I got an analogy for you. An analogy for your business. What if building a big old downline is like filling up a bucket with sand and all your reps and customers are just little grains of sand, itty bitty ones, and you put them in a little at a time and a little at a time, and when you fill the bucket up, you're rich. Isn't that a good analogy? The problem is we all got a hole in the bottom of our bucket. So when you put people in, some of them stay and some of them fall out. Now here's the variable. I don't know if you all do math. A consistent is that we all got a bucket. The consistent is there's an unlimited amount of sand for us to find and put into the bucket. And a consistent is, constant is we all got a hole in the bottom of the bucket. Here's the variable. The variable is the size of the hole in the bottom of your bucket. Some of you have a really small hole in the bottom of your bucket, so you don't lose that much sand. Some of you got y'all a Grand Canyon size hole in the bottom of your bucket. <laughs> because you, um, you use your, I heard a joke a while back. Um, they said, uh, what do jerks use for birth control? their personality. <laughs> I don't mind to get too suggestive with you or nothing. I was sort of referencing sex right there. <laughs> yeah. Yep, you're not supposed to talk about God, politics, or religion when you're a public speaker, so we're working on uh, the sex right now. We'll, we'll get to the other stuff soon. So yeah, you got a hole in the bottom of your bucket. Now if you are not, um, if you're one of those folks who doesn't think you need to work on yourself, you know, eh, what, what, what do I need to know that personality garbage for? If I'm a blue or a red, who cares? That's good, that just means you got a bigger hole in the bottom of your bucket. Everyone on your team is what we call a volunteer, okay? Unless you're paying your people a salary to be on your team, which would put you in the dumber than a rock category. So everyone's a volunteer. That's what's so cool about what y'all do. You can have hundreds of people or thousands of people making you money. I have to pay none of my salary. Think about how brilliant that is. You got hundreds of other people digging. Every time they find a little gold, you get a piece of that gold. You ain't got no overhead to get started. Any of you don't think this is a great business, you need to pull your head out of your posterior. I mean, this is unbelievable, it's awesome, but the problem is there's always the other side of the coin. The other side of the coin is they're all volunteers because we ain't paying them nothing, so they're volunteers. So when you're a jerk to a volunteer, a lot of times they quit. They just disappear, have you noticed? So yeah, part of the reason why there's a hole in the bottom of your bucket is because it's the nature of the beast. 
Some of the sand is just dying to get out of the bucket. They're looking for a hole, no matter how small it is. And some of the reason why the people are going through the hole in the bottom of your bucket is because you keep making the size of the hole bigger and bigger and bigger. So I recommend you make it smaller and smaller. How many think that's a good idea? Yeah, so work on yourself. 15 minutes of personal development every day. Eat, read, eat every book. I almost just said eat every book. <laughs> read every book you can. You know, just do whatever you can do so you can be better. And because you got to work on your personal skills. Some of you think you're motivating people. It's one of my favorite things to do. Sometimes when I'm sitting around, I'm depressed because I can't find me no gold. I'll just sit around and watch one of y'all try to motivate your team. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting uh, the way uh, you interpret the word motivating. Some of you think motivating means screaming. Yeah, let me scream at my, if you're there, I, I know I'm not on a farm right now, but if, if we're on a farm and your cow wasn't giving you enough milk and you started screaming at it, you stupid cow, the hell are, you're worthless, you son of a stinking cow. <laughs> Give me more milk, loser. Would the cow give you more milk? No, you gotta be nice to the cow. Oh, cute little cow. <laughs> I like you a lot, cow. Sure, wish you'd give me a little more milk, though. That's how you talk to the cow, for heaven's sakes. So it's the same deal. People on your group, you have to find that delicate balance between being firm enough, but not too much. Some of you are over swinging a pendulum when it comes to motivating your people. Best way to motivate your people is to lead by example. You go out and dig a whole bunch of dirt. If you want to motivate your people, if you're one of those folks sitting here right now going, man, my group ain't doing enough. This is my group. If my group will get off their butt and go to work. Uh, I recommend you go put some new people in your group. When you put new people in your group, it's funny how that works. Just think about how silly that is. You know what I mean? You just give birth to an infant, and then you uh, go ahead and that infant gets to be two years old, and you give birth to another one, and then you go to your two-year-old and start telling your two-year-old to take care of the infant. <laughs> Pretty dumb. Or you take your two-year-old and your infant and go, all right, you guys go out and get a job. Come on, your mother and I are hungry. You should be the one bringing home the bacon there, bozo. 